tremendous changes whilst I've been gone. But now it's time to see if they've really paid off. So, Brian, are you ready to take a look and see what's on this DVD? Yeah. Oh. Come on, okay, let's get your homework up here. Well, you got plenty of homework to pick from. What do you want to do? You do this one. It says write a paragraph telling what you did over the weekend. I'm sure I did this one. You want to do that one? Six plus three. Nine. <laughs> good job. All right. Three plus eight. I like it. Very good. You did it, see? I know you don't math. How easy that is for you. Never have any math problems that you can't do. What I am loving here, Brian, is that you were there to support him and encourage him. What have you learned about yourself in teaching Silas how to continue with his homework? Patience. Just to be more encouraging rather than being so down on him. Yeah. If I was in his position, I would want my dad to encourage me not to sit there and say, do it. The pair of you are growing more and more self-esteem. That's true. So, I think the next scene is all about pretending with the kids. <laughs> I remember. Oh, good, you've got the carpet. Sam, Paul, let's take a look here. Now, so, could you explain to me what we got going on here? This is a carpet pink that's a stripe. This is green. You know, I like what you've done here. I'm loving this improvisation here, Brian. You're just rolling with it. And the kids, just look at them. They're so engaged. They're perfect. It is. I'll, I'll take 200 of those, those, those decals are simply divine. Actually, this goes to our supplier here. He'll tell you where he is. Nothing says CEO power like butterflies in your hand. Look at you all! Ouch! I mean, they've really been craving this kind of stimulation. And they're now getting it. I have never, never had a time like that with them. Oh. Uh, I didn't want it to end. Give me eyes water here. <laughs> it's brilliant. Yeah. Thank you. So, here. Behavior. Hmm. Get on, Arma. He's jumping on the bed. No, make your bed back the way it was. Jump on the bed again, son. I'll put you on a naughty bench. Kaya, get off the bed and put the covers back on the bed, please. What is it? Come on, go. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So they are too riled up. Oh yeah. As soon as you feel like that, I want you to do this and go, what do I need to do to get what I'm trying to achieve here? Mm -hmm. So that you can shift how you're behaving. When you thought about that, come back and try a different approach. Do not talk to her. She's on a naughty bench. Because you were being disrespectful to me. 
and I would like an apology. Thanks. What are you going to do to move it on so that you and Ellie have a better relationship together? What are you actually going to do as her father? Communicate with her. Open that communication up. Okay. You've seen the dysfunction there in the relationship and now that needs to be resolved, okay? I'm feeling very positive about what I've seen. It's remarkable, absolutely fantastic. Well done. Well done. Brilliant, Brian. Absolutely brilliant. So, let's get cracking. Good. Coming up on Super Nanny. I know that in the past you've been let down. Dad opens his heart up to Ellie, but will she listen? Come in, come in. Come in. And when Joe takes Dad out of his comfort zone, What's really not comfortable? Just have over. He starts to panic. Come on, Brian. Come here. When Super Nanny returns.